Hello friend, welcome to the Java puzzle. Today we are going to discuss about the arc unit which is a Java library and provide or to validate the architecture of a project. Let's suppose if you use a Spring Boot, the controller should be annotated with the forest controller annotation. At the beginning, everything will be fine because a little group of developers work on the project. However, when you start adding developers of your team or from another team in the company, add new functionality is when the error appear. To prevent any error in the code of the project, someone in your team need to review all the changes before merging in the master. This approach looks good at the beginning, but there are some problems like really time consuming tasks, the rule could change in the future so everyone need to know the new rule before checking any code. So how can you resolve this problem in a simple way? So some year ago, ArcUnit appeared which is a free and extensible library for checking the architecture of your project using just a unit test. This library gives you a chance to check the layers structure, valid annotation in each class, check for cyclic dependency and many more. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how you can implement the arc unit in your spring boot api application so before moving ahead let me show you the library which i am using for this project so first one is a data jpa then a starter web s2 database lombok and the finally we use the arc unit j unit 5 currently we are using the j unit 5 but in your project, if it, you are using the G unit 4, so you have to just change it to 4. So now, the first step is a model. We have a, one model class and the rule which we are going to follow for the model is the entity annotation and table annotation should be mandatory for every model class. Then the variables should be private. Then it should be decorated with the at the rate column annotation so these two rules we are going to follow model test and here there is a one util file which is a constant which if we defined here the controller suffix repository suffix service suffix then controller package model repository and service package now let me create one class name as a model test and in this class we are going to implement our arc unit for the model and here you will see so here you will see like analyze class package is a default package and default package is our youtube.chavap.puzzle then in the import option we have to tell our arc unit that the rule is only for the normal class it should not include any test class so that we defined here then we have to add our rules so this one is a rule so when we are using the arc unit we have to annotate it with the arc test then here return is arc rule so here because we are providing the rule for the classes so we will use the classes and you can see this is a self explanatory but i will tell you what we are doing here so classes that reside in any package so we define the model package and here you will see dot dot model it will check in any package which is model is present in the package name so that we define here then should be annotated with entity class and should be annotated with table then if in in case of any violation of the rule this message will be thrown so let me run the program and show you the output now it's run successfully so let me remove the entity and then let me run this file so now test is failed and if I will expand that and in the below you will see the error and error is showing that this is 
this class is not annotated with at the rate entity right then next rule is for our all variable should be annotated with the column and should be private right so for this thing because we are using for the field so we will use a field that are declared in the class that reside in any package should be annotated with column first one it should be column annotated then second rule is should not be final final should not be there then should not be public and should not be static and if it is voided anything then this message will be thrown there so let me run the program so both of the rules should be followed so now it's showing the error so let me see what error is showing so is not annotated with the entity okay so let me revert back the entity and let's suppose if i will make it a public then if i will run the program and this time the error message will be the different architecture violation so this time it will complain for modifier is a public our model is now completed now the time for the repository so here we use the repository client repository and we define that so for the repository let me create one class repository rules test first thing is to define the analyze class and inside it package and import option this thing we have to define for all arcunit class and then after we have to give our rule and our rule is class should be annotated with the repository annotation so for this thing we have to first define that a class is that reside in package should be annotated with the repository and we will provide the exception or error whatever the error it will throw then because it is a, a repository so it should be interface not a class so our next rule is define that class that reside in this package should be interface and this is the message we will pass then for our developer we can bound our developer with another rule which is when we create a repository so it should be end with the repository so for this we have to do classes that reside in the package should have simple name ending with so this is a suffix we defined here and if you will see the suffix so this is a repository so now if i will run this program and check everything is fine so yeah everything is fine so if i will try to change it to class so is it complaining for that let me check so okay because there is the average showing so let me implement all the methods there okay now change it to implement so now let me run the repository rule so i think it should complain so here you will see class should be interface let me revert all the code it should be and if i will remove the repository annotation so you will see the error and it complaining in this one first one
so first one class should be annotated right then the next thing is to create a service so this is our service class and in the service we have to provide some rule like component annotation should not be allowed classes should be annotated with that service annotation the fields should not be public then class name should be ended with the service and pin method are not allowed these rules we are going to implement for the service so let me create one class name as a service rules test first thing is a common for the every arc unit test then we have to implement our rules now now here you will see component annotation is not allowed so we can be used like should not be annotated with component so same we have to tell like class should not be should be annotated so be annotated with service then field should not be public so we will use field instead of classes there then are declared in class that reside in a package should not be public then the message we will show there then class should post fix repository or we can give the name because this is for the service so let me change with the service and reside in the package service package and have simple name ending with service affix then bean method are not allowed in the service class so is not annotated with bean class and now let me run the program run the test you will see everything is running fine right then the next thing is to create a controller so this is our controller so let me create a test for the controller also so controller rules test in the controller test rule test the first thing is the same as i told you earlier then the class should be annotated with the rest controller annotation so that we defined there and should not be annotated with the controller so both rules we defined in the same method so like that we can define that then method should return response entity here you will see the return type is a response entity so that also we can define here like that are public method that are public and are declared in the class that reside in a package controller package should have raw return type response entity so like that we can define the return type should be response entity then after method should be annotated with valid annotation so we can define that which type of annotation we will define in the controller so it can be post mapping get mapping delete mapping patch mapping and put mapping so only these annotation we will use in our controller so that also we will bond there let me run so all three are passes so let me show you some general coding rule test so if in in our project we want to check like no class should use jora time so we can use like that no class should access a standard string so we can use like that then no generic exception should be throw by the our class so that also we can be defined here then no class should use java util logging we want to use the log4j so that also we can be defined so no any developer can be import this logger or not should not be used that so we can do that like then uh, we we can have uh, bind the developer to 
logger should be private static and final or any variable also we can be defined there so field that have raw type logger should be private should be static should be final and have name logger so like that we can be defined like anyone who will be implement the logger it should not be from org.slf4j logger and it should be private static and final then we can also define like final static variable should be in uppercase so for this thing we should be use field that are static and are final and do not have name like that serial version uid is a different one so we, we can be explicit like that and don't have the modifier like synthetic and has name matching is and here you we can define the regex here so then variable with static and final modifier should be named in the uppercase then bean method should be pri pri uh, sorry public so that also we can be defined should be public if i will run this program and you will see all the test cases should be then last one is the layered architecture test and in the layered architecture test we can be defined what type of architecture we want to perform in our project so we have a layer controller which is defined by the controller package then we have a model layer with the defined by the model package same like a repository and as well as service so now we have to configure like how our architecture will be there so where layer controller may not be accessed by any layer so controller cannot be accessed by any other classes then model may only be accessible by layer repository and service controller are not able to access the model then the repository may only accessible by the layer service because inside the service we call the repository the standard rule is not directly call the repository call the repository property via service so that also we defined here then service may only be accessible by layer which is the controller and the service itself so if i will run this program and you will see hope you enjoy this video and if you think this is a helpful for you for your next project so please like share and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell for the next video